One day after Governor Rigge halted construction on the Mauna Kea telescope, Kaleo Opinions wanted to see what UH Manoa students think about the project. Do you think UH Manoa should go ahead and build a telescope on Mauna Kea? Yes, definitely. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that, uh, that the telescope, you know, they help us observe space and find out all new information that we would never know. And I feel like without this, you know, we'd, we'd, it would slow like progress and, and we'd be able to observe less of what's going on around. And I just feel that if we, it should definitely be, uh, definitely be made. No, but then at the same time, it's still kind of, I feel two-sided on it. Like, yes, it's good for good research and education, but at the same time, it's also sacred to the Hawaiian to live here. So it's just kind of disrespectful to build something on a sacred site. So all in all, I believe that UH should not build something like that on Mauna Kea. No, I don't think they should. I think that it's not their place to, even though it's like such like a highly like regarded like study spot, but I don't think they need like another one. I have mixed feelings about that because as a STEM major, I'm an electrical engineer, uh, I feel like it has very good positive outlooks for um, research in general, but there are a lot of issues with um, land and things like that. So um, there should be a compromise, I feel. Um, I feel like the UA should go forward with that as it is a very big issue, but they also should look to see how they could compromise instead of just trying to fight it. I don't think they should build it there. I believe that they should pick another location because I do believe that they should build a telescope, but just not in an area where it will disrupt a lot of people's cultures and traditions and beliefs. Uh, I mean, there's already too much development in Hawaii, I think. So, but I think that it doesn't need to be there. There's plenty other places in the world that it could be. Not having it on Mount Kea might just make a better one ultimately. In uh, say like because because we have to have a um, more put more thought into it. No, um, I don't believe that UH should build a telescope or even like think about renewing the lease for it because for one UH holds the model of being a Hawaiian place of learning. And that in itself um, goes against the telescopes, for example. It goes against what it means to be Hawaiian. I really don't think that UH should be doing that. And it's not even their land to, you know, to, um, it's not their land to make that type of decision to, um, for. The land belongs to the Hawaiians, to the people. So I think that the responsibility of the land should be held within the people and for the benefit of the community and the Hawaiians because the telescope, we're not the ones, you know, seeing it. Like we don't get any money from that and it's not gonna benefit us in any way. So. What if it does? For instance, what if it has people employed there? That's one in the construction and other, what if people who are building the telescope help people find jobs in the STEM field, for instance, which is what they have been doing with the Akamai initiative. But, okay, if, they want to employ Hawaiians. I don't. I don't see like any Hawaiians who would want to work for something like that. Who would want to work and make a um, an income on something that goes against who it, what it means to be a Ho Hawaiian. You know, being Hawaiian is being sovereign to the land, respecting the aina and the kupuna and where you come from. Are you taking Native Hawaiian studies right now? Yes, I am. Based on your studies, do you think Native Hawaiians would have approved of a telescope that is exploring nature and the universe? I definitely agree. So, so they like from what I've learned in our class is that how you know nature and it's, it, how it's so important. It connects to everything. So I feel like you know if we can understand nature, then we can also you know use that to connect to other f parts of our lives and the world around us. No. And like our kupuna, like our ancestors, like an ancient Hawaiians, you know, they could they knew how to like do. Um, navigation like on flat surfaces they knew all the heavens all the stars without a telescope so I don't really see the need for it especially at home where we are looking at Hawaii from an um, ancient Hawaiians perspective they'd be very upset with the overdevelopment what we've done to their land but um in regards to like astronomy because I, I in my in my Hawaiian studies class we they uh, Hawaiians were historically known for uh, navigations with the stars and stuff like that. And so 
I think it would be like up for debate as well. I believe that they wouldn't because they were always, from what I've learned in Hawaiian studies, they were always very intelligent in the ways of how they navigated throughout the Pacific and yeah, they they didn't have the technology that they have like we have now, but at the same time, Hawaiians have their own traditions that need to be held as well. I think for ancient Hawaiians, I think that they would like to discover more, but I think that they would find another way to discover it instead of having to like destroy the land because land is very sacred to the Hawaiians, and like land is a thing that shouldn't be owned. It's something that like the humans are um, are in debt to, so like they have to. T it's like their duty and their job to take care of the land. The past more so than now, uh, there are a lot of grudges that could be held, um, and there's always been so much that has been taken. Before, if um, before I feel like if there wasn't the annexation, the government would the Hawaiian government would have been much in much more approval of the situation. But with everything that's happened, um, they're just chipping and taking away more and more without really thinking of the consequences of what, what's happening. Can we consider the pursuit of knowledge sacred as well in science? Definitely. Knowledge is very sacred. <laughs> Reporting for Kaleo, Pavel Stankov.